about their work that The form of things. A family of five huddles together, reflective mylar emergency blankets covers their backs as they drink coffee. The moon in starlight plays upon the silver surface. The light reflects and shimmers, touching reflective mylar. One understands the surface lacks anything reminiscent of comfort, but it's smooth. Unlike the family's car buried beneath the telephone pole, reflective mylar gives the illusion the viewers entering ecstasy. Police officers are with the family. The officers sip coffee with the victims as they recoup from the accident. The family wants to think about the past. In the future, they will need to figure out how to forget the crash. They'll want their car fixed. Not when, now. They recall moments that inspired them to remain alive, sip coffee and feel the smooth surface. They're covered in silver sheets. They glimmer. Very soon they will strip off the reflective mylar and return to bed to dream. The circle itself is important, chant infinitum. The sound echoes, sound is an infinite ocean moving in all directions. <coughs> Bodies take flight into reverie, flow, over and in excess. A sea of color, all bathed in light, spinning round. Sometimes one bends forward and lifts the other off the ground. If I told her, would she like it, would she like it, if I told her? I think she'd like it if I told her the family sat unharmed. Would she like it if they invited her to come and smear paint over their bodies? Considering she sees paper as the most immediate surface to construct images upon, paper becomes a body she sweats and labors over. Reflective mylar isn't paper. I'd like it if she liked it, because I imagine her painting upon the surface. Her arms and body frantically move above the surface. She cannot resist paper and paint because they lead her. She drives through 1981 North Beach, thinking of the moment, February. I walked past the sculpture. It morphed and converged upon itself, then began to laugh. Tell me it's nice to be home. Unlike watercolor, gauche doesn't rely on the whiteness of the support the painter paints upon. It shows brilliance, lays right on the surface. Everything painted, the body lacks movement. Take flight and dance, 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 round and over. Bursts out to squiggles and smears, blotting the universe. The colors and rain helped her get to the process of layering. Colors and lines over colors and lines. Patterns emerged and are destroyed. So new colors, they surface. The fucked up rough corners demonstrate pain. When form comes back together, blood elements emerge. The artist brings the family into the piece. The family's hair woven together, forms a brush. She takes the brush and paints a reflective mylar red while thinking of him, his scent. Does she like the pain, or does she want to refuse pain? Because she likes pleasure, but pain is inescapable, so she learns to like pain because she is alive. Pain is a basic ingredient every artist contends with as they strive to pleasure their sexual drive to their work. The real issue is, I need a wealthy lover that I can travel with. The wealthier and wilder, the better. So tell me your name. She knows she's a woman looking back. Everything vibrating in, a, in an expression of cycles. Feet brush across the ground, leap upwards and bathe and shimmer. Cast off and drip between male and female. Our lives are retro, punk, bourgeois, meaningless, etc. Energy is always moving from the unit of source to the, through an involutionary phase of expression and then returns to the evolutionary. To be an orifice forever. To beget is to die, and to die is to beget. Movements are gorgeous. It is not necessary to understand. It is enough to adore. I want to tell her that I like it, that I like to look. I like to stare and stare and stare. Not now, but now. Let me see. Meow. Her pen touches the paper as she writes longhand words flow from her pussy. Paint gushes out. She takes white foam corn, constructs the skeleton frame, uses hot glue to hold the edges. She covers the flame frame with reflective mylar. Double-sided tape holds the mylar in place, for this is so. Because I've been penetrated, so I'm welcome everywhere I go. Rippling light, we start to drink. We want to continue until all the velvet airs in our stomachs. The instinct to let eyes wander along the lines and blurred smears of paint are matched by an equally strong desire to discover the place in which inspiration was derived. Wearing only reflective mylar, the family walks out along the spiral jetty, a beautiful place to get lost. 
they've forgotten the crash, they let their eyes wander, they are outside the metropolis so they speak to themselves and hear their inner voices as they examine the mud, salt crystals, basalt rocks, earth and water. The children are happy to be outside the city because the city filled them with toxins. I want to know if she wants to join me. I want to know if she wants to join me. But I'm afraid to talk to her because the city noises are so loud. Listen, you can't hear the family because they are too far away in time and space. But the vibrations are present because sound vibrations drift endlessly. I can't hear myself think. Nor do I know who I am, so I climb the San Francisco hills, feeling disheveled, a maniac. I want to believe I see the form of things clearly. I want to know, not be trapped in linguistic constructs. I can only write about that which has left an imprint upon my nervous system. I try to fit the forms of things onto paper using words. Writing has become my way of trying to remember. May written words fruitfully express and exchange ideas that attempt to validate our perspectives. Poetry wants to move, be the most intense language form, capable of giving maximum flexibility and complication to binaries. Too many books of poetry. The genre itself seems to hover into a blur of disjunction, image, and musical line. Poetry is non-contextual language, anterior to the objects. Properties distinction has definitely deserted us. Poetry is situated in a primitive elsewhere because it came before the true formation of object and language unfit to transport information more precise than simple bodily or emotional sensations, poetry remains intrins intrinsically linked to the magical state of the human mind. Does poetry seem simpler than I'm imagining? Could it be you and me talking, making decisions? And then someone said the words, imminent and transcendent, so I opened up my big, two beautiful eyes and cut short the metaphysical conversation. Convinced I understood, understood Zen, I sighed with fatigue. Do you think she gets the bad, bad cramps? It's just the eggs releasing. The average blood loss during menstruation is 35 milliliters with 10 to 80 milliliters considered normal. The normal menstrual flow follows a crescendo, decrescendo pattern. That is, it starts at a moderate level, increases somewhat, and then slowly tapers. Do you think she stops painting, sculpting when the discharge comes? I envision her stopping to stare. The blood comes quicker and quicker. She takes out the tampon when she pees because the pressure of peeing makes the blood come. The contractions are similar to the labor contractions. She experiences so much physical pain. She is geared for physical pain. If a woman takes the plan B pill, she has a mini abortion. She bleeds and bleeds and comes to a greater understanding of the nuances of pain. Pain is whatever the experienced person says it is, existing whenever they say it does. Pain is part of the body's defense system, triggering a reflex reaction to retract from a painful stimulus and helps adjust behavior to increase avoidance of that particular harmful situation in the future. Stimulation of a nociceptor due to a chemical, thermal, or mechanical event that has the potential to damage body tissue may cause nociceptive pain. Interestingly, the brain itself has no nociceptive tissue and hence cannot sense pain inside itself. Thus, a headache is not due to stimulation of pain fibers in the brain itself. Rather, the membrane surrounding the brain of the spinal cord, called the dura mater, is innervated with pain receptors. And stimulation of these dural nociceptors is thought to be involved to some extent producing headache pain. The vasoconstriction of pain innervated blood vessels in the head is another common cause. Some evolutionary biologists have speculated that this lack of nociceptive tissue in the brain might be because any injury of sufficient magnitude to cause pain in the brain has a sufficiently high probability of being fatal that the development of nociceptive tissue therein would have little to no survival benefit. Sex is a time-tested survival tactic. Does she trust the man that refused to fuck her when she bleeds? Never trust the guy that can't stand a little shit in blood. I want him to love her. Gagged with a dildo, I imagine her fucking my boyish face. She bleeds. I wipe the blood upon my hand and raise it upwards into the light so I may witness the red sheen. Would I like it if she grabbed me and treated me like a sculpture, painting my chubby body and covering me in rigid lines? I wouldn't recognize myself or know I came from machines. My body belongs to me, or, more exactly, I belong to my body. Does it matter? The family will die, but the reflective mylar will continue to glisten. Staring longer, her technique surfaces, her work is rough and detailed, 
Continually, it converges on itself. This is made more apparent as more and more layers surface and recede. At the real reality, it's beautiful. It's silver. The green dot has achieved the same reward as a green dot within a quantity of red. The quantity of color has a reward of equilibrium. Oh, great. I see. She is in a geometric stage. She took a geology-focused land art trip last summer in 2008. The trip shifted her perspective. She doesn't think about the audience as she traces new lines over old lines and spreads colors over new lines. Wearing glasses, she forms her blurred place in reality. The body is not perfect. The painting should not be perfect. The sculpture, sculpture is never exact. The metaphor is not the intent, but it's there. <laughs>